What is the best shooting form to use when playing basketball? First, let's talk about the footwork. Here is a guy getting ready to shoot a jump shot. Notice anything wrong? His feet are square to the basket. Let's talk more about that. Most coaches would say square your feet to the basket. Well, no. You must actually turn your feet to the basket. This will actually grab more accuracy in the shot. Notice how Kevin ran when he shoots, he turns his feet. Now, if you do square your feet, you're actually losing a lot of accuracy because if you stand in front of a basketball hoop and put your hand out, it's actually a little bit to the side, as you can see in this shot here. But if you turn your feet and put your hand straight up as straight up to the basketball rim, it's actually in line with the basketball rim, not on the side anymore. Now, when shooting a ball, you must also stand on the balls of your feet. As you can see in these images, this is what I'm referring to as balls of your feet. If you actually stand, um, plant your feet planted to the ground, your shot would not um, gain as much accuracy as um, you standing on the balls of your feet. Now, most of your coaches would have told you when shooting a ball, you jump straight up and land two feet back down again. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. If you actually, if you actually see an NBA shooter shoot, he actually sweeps his feet forward. This is also known as the sweep and sway. What this does is that this, when you jump in the air, you must sweep your feet forward and this will relax your shoulders and you actually retain more power to shoot that three pointer and you have more accuracy and more range when doing it. All right, so we've covered uh, the footwork when shooting a basketball. So let's just capture all of that that we've actually um, established. So first of all, um, you wanna turn, do not square. Second, Stand on the balls of your feet when shooting. And third, sweep and sway. Now, let's move on to the arms. Now, when we're talking about the hand placement to a basketball, um, you actually don't want to have your fingers too spread out, as in this shot right here. Um, and you actually don't want to hold it on your actual literal fingertips because, yeah, you do have control, but you lose accuracy in your shot. You also don't want to have your hands too close with each other because you don't have enough ball control. Um, and you also, uh, to actually get a good shot in, you actually want to put your index finger on that little notch there where you pump the ball up. Um, you want to make a U shape with your index finger and your thumb, right? And uh, when your palm, you actually want to be able to fit two fingers, all right? That's how high you want to keep the ball up. Um, you can either have your guide hand, which is your left hand. You can either have it on the side, on top, or, uh, but not on the bottom of the basketball because you're pretty much blocking your shot when you take it. The index finger is the key thing to know when shooting a basketball. If you release with your index finger, your shot will actually more, be more precise and more straight. Um, players that use this index finger release is Kobe Bryant, as you can see in this picture right here, as well as um, Michael Jordan as well. Um, now here's a clip of Kobe Bryant using the finger release to his advantage. Now, instead of the index finger release, I also like to call it the pinch. Um, purely because that's what it looks like. It looks like you're pinching something. Um, you could also refer it to the um, pencil holding position, as you can see in this shot here. But what this does is that it actually keeps the shot straight. Um, so you have be obviously better accuracy and it improves your accuracy by 90% and also 98% of the times you get this shot in if you use an um, index finger release. That is why I said put your index finger in the um, nozzle where you pump the ball up because roughly where that nozzle is is where the middle of the ball is and um, 
whichever finger is in the middle of the ball will be the last finger that would touch the ball when you release it. So you're in, that's why I told you, if you put your index finger in the middle of the ball, you're already shooting it with your index finger, so your shot will obviously be straight. Now, your guard hand is the hand that doesn't actually shoot the ball, so it's the one that's left behind. So for my one, I shoot with my right hand, so my left hand is my guide hand. If you shoot with your um, left hand, your right hand is your guide hand. Basically, if you don't have your guide hand out in front of you when you shoot, 90% of the times your shot would not go in. Your shot would either airball it, hit the front rim, hit the back rim, because without the guide hand, you, you have no accuracy, you have no aim point, you have no range, you have pretty much nothing with it. So your guide hand is the most important thing when shooting a basketball. Basically, the backspin is um, forcing the ball to spin backwards to you, so like that. 90% um, of the time, you get that shot in, and it would actually help you with your accuracy as well. So, pretty much, if you hit the side of the rim, the back of the rim, the left or the right side of the rim, the front of the rim, 99% of the time, the shot will actually come in if you use the backspin. Alright, let's do a whole recap and summary about this. Whole thing, number one, you want to turn your feet. Number two, stand on the balls of your feet. Number three, you want to sweep and sway. Remember that one because that gives you a lot more range. Number four, put the index finger in the middle of the ball. Number five, make a U shape with your thumb and your index finger. Number six, do the pinch release to keep your shot straight. All right, that's, a, that's an important rule as well. Guide hand, number one, important rule. Um, and number eight, the backspin. Thank you guys for watching this video. This concludes the end. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.